our lesson for today is all about the periodic table. You will learn about the trends in the periodic table and the different uses of these elements according to trends. You are also expected to use the periodic table to predict the chemical behavior of an element. There are more than 90 elements that are naturally occurring on Earth. These elements react and follow a certain trend according to their properties and characteristics. Human benefit from knowing the importance of the properties of elements. We are able to find applications of this knowledge in industries and modern technologies. Let's do what I know activity. From the given set of elements, identify the periodic trend. Arrange the given set of elements based on the following periodic trends. Name the following elements. 1. Hg Mercury. 2. Co. Cobalt. 3. Po. Polonium. 4. Br. Bromine. 5. I. Iodine. 6. Cs. Cesium. 7. U. Uranium. 8. Er. Erbium. 9. W. Tungsten. 10. PV. Leave. Identify the following elements non-metal, metals or metalloids. 11. Strontium. Metal. 12. Germanium. Metalloid. 13. Krypton. Non-metal. 14. Manganese. Metal. 15. Radon. Non-metal. Let's do what's new activity. Unscramble the letters to identify the words being described in each statement. 1. It is the ability of the atom to accept an electron. Answer. Electron affinity. 2. It is the ability of the atom to attract and bind electrons. Answer. Electronegativity. 3. It is the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom in its gas state. Answer. Ionization energy. 4. It shows how reactive metals are to chemical changes. Answer. Metallic property. 5. It is used to measure the size of an atom through the distance between two nuclei. Answer. Atomic radius. Find grocery items in new home. Look at the product label and identify the elements or compound on each item. Here is an example. You can make your own table based on what is available grocery item. What are the trends in the periodic table? The periodic table shows all the known element and gives information such as the atomic number and symbols of each element. Elements follow a trend as they move left to right across a various or top to bottom down a group. This is known as periodic trend. These trends are according to their properties and characteristics. The first trend is the trend in atomic radius or size of the elements. Scientists use the distance between two nuclei to determine the size of an atom. They notice that the elements decreases in size across period. This is from left to right has an increasing trend both in the number of protons and in the number of electrons. From top to bottom down a group the trend increases. The atom becomes bigger because more electrons are added to outside of the nucleus thus increasing overall radius of the atom. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom in its gaseous state. This electron is usually located farthest away from the nucleus. The general trend is that ionization energy increases from left to right across period because it takes more energy to remove an electron when they are crowded together. The trend decreases from top to bottom down a group because it is easier to remove an electron farthest away from the nucleus. Electron affinity is the ability of the atom to accept an electron. The general trend is electron affinity increases from left to right across period. This is because as the atomic radius becomes smaller, the nucleus attract electrons more strongly since they become closer. The opposite trend from top to bottom down a group the bigger the atomic radius. The further away the electron is from positive nucleus, therefore the nucleus attract electron less. Electronegativity is the ability of the atom to attract and bind electrons. 
This trend behaves similar to electron affinity except for the fact that in electronegativity, electrons are used for bonding with other atoms instead of merely accepting an electron. The trend is generally the same, electronegativity increases from left to right across the period and decreases from top to bottom down a group. Metallic property shows how reactive metals are to chemical changes. The general trend is that metallic property increases from right to left across a period and it increases from top to bottom down a group. This is quite obvious because element tends to become more metallic as they move across a period. The greater the metallic property of the metal, the more reactive it also becomes. Here are common uses of elements based on the periodic trends. Some of the elements are used according to the trends that they follow and exhibit in the periodic table. These trends also associate the elements to the properties that they have. Cesium for example has a low ionization energy. Because of this property it is commonly used as photosensor. Few examples of this are in automatic doors, burglars alarm and other devices which use photosensors. Fluorine has the highest electronegativity. Fluorine may be very reactive yet it has a number in the industry. One example of it is in toothpaste. Some are used also in ceramic. Metallic property contributed to a wide range of uses in industry. Metal have high electrical conductivity. It is used most in electrical wiring. Processing question. Number 1. What are the trends in the periodic table? Answer atomic radius, metallic property, electronegativity, electron affinity, ionization energy. 2. What are the common uses of elements based on the periodic trends? Ionization energy, cesium has low ionization property, which is used as photosensors. Example are in automatic door and burglar alarms which has photosensor. Electronegativity. Chlorine may be very reactive but it has a number of uses in industry. Example is the toothpaste which help avoid decay of teeth and also used as ceramic. Metallic property. Metal have high electrical conductivity. It is used in most electrical wirings as current flow. Let's do what's more activity. Write and arrange three elements for each category. For 10 different objects, food or things that can be found in your home. And research on the different elements or compound on each object. This is just an example. You can write your own answers. Let's answer the assessment. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which among the elements has the highest electron affinity? A. Chlorine B. Tellurium. C. Germanium D. Rhodium. Answer. A. Chlorine. 2. Which of the following has greatest electronegativity? A. Carbon D. Oxygen C. Neon D. Fluorine. Answer. D. Fluorine. Five. Which among the elements has the lowest metallic property? A. Cobalt C. Copper B. Nickel D. Iron Answer. C. Copper Choose the following elements inside the box that can be found in the product that you commonly use every day. 1. Can of sardine Tea 2. Toothpaste Chlorine 3. Kitchenware Aluminum 4. Thermometer Mercury 5. Inflated Balloon Helium Write T if the statement is correct, F if otherwise. 1. Metallic property increases from right to left across a period. Answer. False. 2. Elements increase in size across a period. Answer. False. 3. Ionization energy decreases from left to right across a period. Answer. False.
4. Electron affinity increases from left to right across a period. Answer. True. 5. Electronegativity decreases from left to right across a period. Answer. False. That ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to click the like button. And subscribe to this channel for more video updates.